talking with these people? Are there other similarities or differences that you saw that you would make as generalizations? The thing of the matter is, and this I, I this would take some research, but my, my gut is after 50 years, it's accurate that most people want to go to college or do the equivalent. I mean, many more than actually do. But for some reason, they think it's not for them. They get the message in high school, don't waste your time, or they can't afford it, or they've got to go to work, or this or that. But it isn't like they just never think about it. It's always on their mind. One fellow in the book, the first degree he got, and the only degree he got, was a master's in business. Wow. No associate degree, <laughs> no baccalaureate degree. And the story of how that happened is just hilarious. The life stories are very different, but the core, the ambition is always there. And I don't think it's the ambition or the, the perspective that I, I want this. I don't think that's unique to these people. What is unique to them statistically is that they were able to do something about it. Okay. Some by the age of 25 or 26, others by the mid 30s, early 40s, some of them took 30 years. And then I broke the book up, as you know, merry-go-round. People just caught in life and they, gee, right, they right. get off, they can't get on, they're just hanging on. Horses going up and down, they're hanging on. And then other people are sort of the pluggers. They just keep on going and life will slap them down and they'll get up and keep going and then something happens. And it's the turning point, the transition, and having one or more people present in their lives at that point that allow them to see where they've been, understand what they know, and move forward. Uh, so it's, to me, it's stuff that was always there and it was incorrect, and all of a sudden it's able, it's allowed to come out.